Ministry of Food and Agriculture has destroyed more than uh, 31,000 live beds in 10 communities in Greater Accra and Volta regions as well as Kumasi because of the outbreak of bed flu. The outbreak which occurred in April this year has also resulted in the destruction of more than 1,000 crates of eggs. Well, the ministry gave the figures in an interview with TV3 to mark this year's celebration of West African Health Organization Day in Accra. To control the spread, the sector ministry has introduced containment measures to address the problem. Again, it has established a relationship with Noguchi Institute to conduct routine checks. But experts at the ministry expressed worry that information being sent out by politicians could undermine their work. You need very fast information. You need to get down to the population, the public, to know what is on. And immediately there is that delay in releasing the right information to the general public. People try to construe their own information, which could be something that is not exactly what is happening. So that is the fear. They can misinform people of other things and whatever. Another source of worry is Ebola. Already, Liberia, after being declared Ebola-free, has recorded another fresh case. Director of Nursing and Midwifery at the Ministry of Health, George Kumi Treme, called for adequate government support for the Ebola-affected countries. Ebola virus disease has no respect for countries or for any bar barrier. The initial outbreak of Ebola in Guinea quickly spread to other countries in the sub-region. Some countries like the U.S., Spain, and Norway also reported Ebola cases. This clearly informs us that the fight against Ebola, indeed, is a global war. General Secretary of the Health Services Workers' Union, Abu Kuntolo, made a passionate appeal for government to increase its budgetary allocation to the health sector. As I speak to you, Ghana and other countries, has not yet been able to meet this 15% declaration by its own ECOWAS number. So what are we talking about the health systems? We want to have a growth in our health system. We want to really mean the quality of health reversal. And so normally, we re and emphasize on the need for health sector authorities to meet this declaration who they themselves have done. As part of the celebration, health experts are calling for stringent measures to tackle the deadly Ebola disease.